Back, it's I'm Sal. I'm Ben. So it is either almost Judgment Day or listen, uh, August 29th, 1997 was the day that the machines took over, or rather when Skynet became self aware at 2:14 a.m. I celebrate Judgment Day every year by watching T2 or celebrating it in some way <laughs> as kind of like, yay, we're still here. Sometimes you just beat up a Roomba. Right. Yeah. I just smash a robot at some point. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I like to celebrate because I love Terminator. It's no secret. Terminator is one of my favorite franchises. And uh, by that I mean I like two out of five of them. <laughs> I was just gonna say, oh really? What's your favorite one since like 1994? Like, yeah, was it was it Rise of the Machines? Was it Salvation? Was it, was it Genesis? 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 No, neither. None of them. None of them. What about the show? Right or Sarah Connor Chronicles? So <laughs> we're doing uh, Superman versus Terminator: Death to the Future. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is written by Alan Grant with art by Stephen Pugh. This is Terminator versus Superman. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. The story opens and it's Metropolis and Sarah Connor and John Connor are on the run. Okay. Yep. In Metropolis. In yep. Metropolis. One of the cities that they are visiting in their travels. Yeah. It's post T2. Sure. Okay. And this book comes out pre T3. Okay. So it's pre any Terminator sequel outside of the good one. So really, sure. this is the sequel that we're waiting for. No. <laughs> this is not the worst one. It's just nonsensical. Mm. Superman's in it. Right. Doesn't make so any sense. It's off to a bad start from so, conception. John is like a dumbass who's like interested in being a kid. I guess he's riding high from winning. Mm hmm. Or so he thinks. What, well, T2 like just happened? It must have happened recently enough where John still thinks that they're okay. Right. And then a Terminator appears in front of them immediately. Mm. So Sarah springs into action. The Terminator identifies them immediately. I guess their triangulation has gotten a lot better since the last time because it used to be, you know, T1. They didn't know even what they looked like. They so just they had like yeah. had a basic city. Yep, they just they like just here. knew the city, so they kill everyone in the phone book. T2. I they guess, know that they're on vacation because this is the part in the history where Sarah and John meet Superman. Right. That's yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's written in the <laughs> the annals of history. You're not far off with how this works out. So the Terminator, of course, heats up his laser vision and shoots. Which they don't and shoots have. lasers at John and Sarah. Oh, now well, Superman has lasers too. Right. And so that's this way a we Kryptonian could, Terminator? It is not. Although I will say. The laser thing is totally not a Terminator thing, but it is a Terminator thing in this book. So. <laughs> well, because they have the red eye. Right. And so it would make sense. It would make that sense they would so that shoots that. lasers. Yeah. They just didn't do it in the first two movies. No. The eye is a camera. No. Cameras no. don't shoot lasers. The, it doesn't shoot lasers because it has red eyes. It shoots lasers because it's time travel and stuff. Right. But we'll get there. We'll it's get from there. another. It's coming from another future. Yeah. Uh, so the Terminator attacks and they immediately shoot it with like signal flares that they find okay. uh, because it's naked and this is a Dark Horse DC collaboration. We can't see any wangs. Yeah. So we got to melt that skin immediately. Or if this was a movie, you know, we made Arnold Schwarzenegger look just like he did in 1984, but it's very expensive. So we got to shoot him immediately with fire so that it melts off. So Superman's like, what's that commotion? He shows up. Sure. Yeah. And he just like smashes it. You know, he's like, hi, I'm Superman. Yeah. Like, this is, this should be easy. Now, it's pretty yeah. strong, so it doesn't immediately die, and it punches sure. him, and it, sh and it shoots him with, his, with its laser vision. Yeah, but it's clearly outclassed. Easily. Yeah. Oh, Superman punches its head off. Nice. And then just caves in its body with his fist. Sweet. And he's like, well, that takes care of that. Yep. It'll be hilarious if he's like, laser vision? I have that. Hang on a second. <laughs> and he's like, let me ask uh, the people who was attacking what was going on. So he looks for them. They ran away, because, uh -huh. you know, Sarah doesn't want to be on the grid. Right. And uh, so he tracks them down, stops them. He's like, okay, explain yourselves. Right. First of all, I why probably, was he trying to kill you? Well, I was trying to kill you. I don't you recognize you. Something. So he picks them up and he takes them away. Because Sarah's like, we're not safe here. So he puts them on top of a, the roof of a building. And he's like, all right, we're safe here now. I do not like this John. This John sucks. Uh, this John is a dumbass. And he's just really excited. I mean, like, here's the thing. John is a little boy. Uh, he's not that little. I mean, like, he's a teenager. He's like 13. Uh, yeah. In T2, I think he's supposed to be like 12, maybe 11. Really? Yeah. He's obviously a teenager. But. <laughs> I like, thought he was like 14. No. Okay. That's that's the life of being in foster home, I guess. It ages you. Right. Yeah, he's just very streetwise. I guess. Yeah. Uh, but that being said, you know, like, th this John is much more quick to embrace his childlike tendencies. Okay. I mean, 
He's flying around with Superman. This is awesome. Sure. It's every little boy's dream. Yeah. Now, unlike Other John... Other than the fact that a Terminator just came back, so, like, obviously you didn't stop Skynet, so, like, this is a huge problem. Right, but Sarah is really John. worried about this, and Superman's like, you're with Superman now. Yeah. And he, like, smashes something to show them, like, I'm invulnerable. <laughs> There's nothing... <laughs> Everything's fine. Smash, smash. See? <laughs> See? See how fun it is? Smash. Yeah. I just break stuff sometimes. Oh, God. I'll show you how strong I am. They just watched him take that Terminator apart. They know how strong he is. Yeah, but like they don't believe it or whatever. It's just I guess they ran I, away, I'm, so maybe they didn't see it. Maybe they didn't see it. In fact, yeah. they didn't. They okay. ran away. All right. so. So, maybe they never believed enough. the stories of Superman. Yeah. 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 Well, they did propaganda. believe the story of the future robots from the... Anyway, so, <clears throat> so Sarah gives Superman a lowdown about the future mm -hmm. and about John and how he's the, so for, the hope for humanity. Superman's like, whoa, if there is one hope for humanity, I think it's me. Yeah, please. Mm -mm. And uh, my son, John. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't have him yet. <laughs> That's funny, though. That is good. Sarah explains the whole premise of Terminator in, like, one page. Yeah. Because yeah, we know. Because we get it. Yeah, we've seen the well, movie. Well, like, the movie just came out. Literally, yeah. the only person who doesn't know this origin is Frank Miller when he wrote RoboCop vs. Terminator <laughs> and didn't use the Connors at all. Yeah. The savior of humanity is RoboCop. <laughs> so... Uh, they, she explains the premise. Superman's like, I'm on board. I get it. Yeah. I'm Superman. Sure. I came from a distant planet. So, yeah, like, I'm, that, that I'm on board. That all sounds plausible. Totally. So, uh, Sarah is, like, yelling at Superman because she's like, maybe you're the reason why they... Like, why do they know where we were? Mm. And so, John reveals... Well, uh, okay. well, I'm not even going to get into like, How do they know? How do they triangulate our yeah. location? Well, well, I didn't... But he wasn't going to be there until the Terminator was there. Right. So, but how did they then know... Then it that... was there, so it always was there. <laughs> so John explains that when he was in the toy store, he wanted like a bike. So he entered like a raffle and he gave his real name. John, you know how to God hack ATMs damn. for cash. Right. But Come on, man. This John does too, but let's forget that John. Right. Like the Edward Furlong John and the Terminator versus Superman John are very different characters. Okay. This John is a like... Well, they need him to be that. Yeah, so that, that, so that he did that. Occur. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> so Superman's like, don't feel bad. Like, it's okay. And so I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> My life is a waking nightmare. And Superman's like, it's fine, I'm here. And like, right. it's, it's amazing to see these two disparate realities like merge because they both have a point. Yeah. Like Sarah can't close her eyes without seeing nuclear fire and Superman's like, and I save the day. Yeah. Like if you are, listen, if you're, if you're dealing with superheroes, or, listen, if you're dealing with Terminators, like I'll just go to the future and punch them or something. Like whatever right. you want me to do, I have a time machine. <laughs> like. I have friends from the future, mm -hmm. and they say there's no death robots. So, like, you're fine. Yeah. So it's like, oh! <laughs> but any case... So there's no tension whatsoever. Yeah, but then two more Terminators show up. Mm. And a mysterious Superman character has recovered the skull that Superman punched across the room, and he's analyzing it. He's discovering that it's from the future. It's Hank Henshaw, a.k.a. Cyborg Superman! Oh my god! Yeah! Cyborg Superman! Of course! This makes a lot of sense! Yeah. Why didn't I think of that? He's a cyborg! Known. He yeah. looks like a Terminator! He looks like a Terminator! He's got laser vision? Yep. Yeah. So, he finds the robot. These and aren't Terminators! They're, They're just other cyborg Superman. Yeah, no. Without the skin. Well, basically. Uh, so he's like, okay, I figured out that this thing is from the future and that humanity's doomed because they exist. Mm -hmm. But how can I, like, get them to talk to me if they're from the future? Right? Because, like, I want to work with these guys. Right. We need to team the, the two villains up. How are we going to do that if one is from the future and the other one doesn't exist in the future? Right. So he's like, ah, I'll send a message in a bottle. I'll send a message about who I am and what I'm all about into this skull, and then I'll leave the skull someplace for the Terminators to find and recover in the future, download, analyze, and then when they send the Terminators back, they'll have information to talk to me here now. Yeah. It's the equivalent it. of remembering a trash can and putting it on top of your dad so you could steal keys and break out your friends from prison and then give your book report. Yeah. And the yep. second you have the idea, it comes to fruition. Yes. So he, he except unlike yeah. that, this takes time, even though it wouldn't if you're going by that logic. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, Henshaw gives the Skull all his information about him, about Luthor, about the, the super people, about everything. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uploads it into there and then, and then drops it off. Uh, Superman fights these two other Terminators who've just shown up yep. with their laser vision and, like, destroys them handily because they're still Terminators. Right. And he just destroys them. Uh, robots. You know, Sarah and John help too, but who cares? And he's also very upset that there are these naked men running around the Metropolis. How inappropriate! He like immediately tries to cover them up and then fights them. No, 
So he just in, destroys in this version of the Terminator universe, yes. the machines had like 30 robots to send back, and they just kept putting them in the time machine. I, I think the idea is they had multiple time machines. Uh, okay. That's how they justify sending back more Terminators, even right. though we all know in the original two, one machine. Yeah. The way it used to work was well, they, one machine. They didn't know. They sent the T-800 to 84 to do like the, the time abortion. Then, in a last-ditch effort, right before the human, like, the human resistance broke in, they sent the T-1000, a prototype experimental thing, yeah. into whatever year yeah. Terminator 2 but, is supposed to have taken place. But that series of events was only invented for Terminator 2. Before that, yes. it was just the one. Just the one. So every yeah. time they do a new thing, they, just, they can just add more. Right. They, they just retcon like, it again and the, and to and add more So stuff. they sent three Terminators instead yeah. of two. Yeah. And, yeah, no. I mean, but, but eventually it gets ridiculous. Like, if they sent another one as a fail-safe, that one I'm okay with. Yeah. Because no, that's a good just movie. like a line of Terminators. And this just like, years. And they just like step in. Like, okay, now you're going to and in the case he didn't, we, <laughs> And in case he fails every single year until yep. now, we send a Terminator. We'll send one back to like friggin' the 1860s to like interfere in the Civil War. So like the <laughs> South wins. And right. that'll help us somehow. Like yeah. just all through time. Yeah. Just I mean, that's movies. That's if, how if that's you the can case, justify it. All you do is you send them all back to like one time period. Right. And you're just like... And then they can't lose. Yeah, wait a minute. Why send one back every year when you could send 18 to 84? <laughs> then well, it's like, like, it's not one doing every single person at the in the phone book. It's one at every single location. Yeah. Just have them be sleeper cells. Says this is a Harry Connor. <laughs> <laughs> one, you know what they should awesome. do? They should have a, a Terminator sent back to Cyberdyne that works there. Mm. That way they're like, you always have a sample to run off of. Right, yeah. And you can defend it. Right. So the Cyborg Superman finds like a gravestone of a morbid looking angel and he just shoves the Terminator skull into it and that's like where he's going to hide it. Okay. And uh, Sure. And then, uh, so Superman rescues John and Sarah from the other two Terminators, he destroys them, and then suddenly a storm cloud appears and Superman disappears. But as he's disappearing, he goes, you gotta call this person and go get her and she'll protect you while I'm gone. And he laser visions the phone number and the name Lois Lane. So like Sarah and John need to go find Lois. He sends these two people who are being targeted by Terminators to hang out with his girlfriend or wife or whatever. Wife, yeah. Don't call the Justice League yeah, or anything. Like, what? Here's his name. His name's Bruce Wayne. Just go to Wayne Manor and yeah. he'll protect you. Yeah, no. No, that Bruce Wayne's de busy dealing with a predator at the moment. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, Bruce Wayne's in another city, so maybe he's too far away. Yeah. But, like, there must be other... I guess there aren't any heroes in Metropolis. Oh, well, there's Supergirl. There's Steel. There's Superboy. Yeah. I guess he figures, like, well, they'll go see Lois, and then she'll hook them up with you know what Supergirl, because she doesn't have a phone number. So, right. Like, yeah, exactly. That's how they find her. It's That's not... True. Hey, you have to go find Lois Lane so you'll be safe. It's, hey, I'm being sucked away, mm -hmm. and I don't know how I'm going to get back, so call Lois, and maybe yeah. she can help well, and me. And she can also be explained as to why I'm, like, late for dinner. Right. Like, he That's very important. storm cloud. That is important. I'll put her life at risk. To cover my ass. <laughs> so Superman arrives in the future, and he's, like, you know, naked, because, of course, nothing dead will go through the time uh, displacement device. Wait, wait, wait. They can pull people into the future? Oh, yeah, now they can. And indeed they do. And so they pull Superman back. Why don't they pull Sarah and John? Yeah. There. <laughs> now you're safe. Yeah. <laughs> Blam. Well, be well, no, no. Well, the Terminators do that. No. Yeah. Th these are not the Terminators. Oh, no, no. Not the Terminators. It's, it's the human resistance. Okay. They took over. Right. Uh, and they, and they, so they pull him back. And okay. then uh, they're like, oh, crap. Like, he doesn't register as a person. Shoot him. And then one of them's like, don't. And it's Steel. It's John Henry Irons. And he's old. And he's like, hey, Superman, what's going on? Okay, so this is right in the middle of friggin' Return of Superman. Yeah, I mean, like it's after that, but after yeah. like the Return, of, it's between the Reign of the Superman yep. and Electric Blue Superman. Okay, okay, all right. So everyone who you know from those stories, yeah. Is so it is it. cemented in that time period. Absolutely, doesn't make any sense outside of that. Nope. So you don't know who Steel is. Yeah. Sorry. Then sorry, <laughs> you're, this ain't this crossover for you. So <laughs> so Steel reveals that they're in 2032. And that the humanity is like ruined and everything's destroyed. Yeah. Of course, that doesn't make any sense because the future war is in 2029, but whatever. So well, it's different. Yeah, but it they, is different. And so, like, don't worry about they years. They didn't stop Judgment Day. They just pushed it back or changed it. Because Judgment, Judgment Day, Day is, is inevitable. inevitable. God damn it. That factors in right with the 
lesson of Terminator 2, which is there is no fable we make for ourselves. Yeah. You couldn't just give him clothes? So they <laughs> drape Superman in the American flag because <sighs> that's all they clothes. have. It's all they have. It's an outdated flag of a country that doesn't exist anymore. Yeah. Uh, they were trying to pull the Terminator that was sent to kill oh. John and Sarah, but they Superman was in the way, and so they pulled Superman instead by accident. Well, <laughs> just okay. try again. No. Nah. No, it's a one shot. So. Why does Superman look like a totally different guy there? Because it's bad art. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's I all that's I can the say. Answer. It's just, yeah, well, because they thought that, that was good enough. There's a deadline here. It's a four-issue four miniseries. Issue miniseries. It's more than one. <laughs> Certainly. Which it really only needs one. Uh, but, so anyway, uh, Steel reveals that like they had reprogrammed a Terminator and sent that back. And they wanted to send out false data to try and like rig Skynet ahead of time. Okay. Like, we have a plan in place. Like send back a Terminator yeah. of our own design mm -hmm. so that like it messes Skynet up. Yes. Yeah, it makes like sense. a virus. Right, exactly. A computer virus. So I gave it a cold. Uh, John <laughs> meets Superman. John from the future. And he's like, hey, oh. I remember you. You're awesome. Okay. And they reveal that like Superman disappeared in the year 2000. The year that the story takes place in. Sure. Uh, Superman disappeared and never returned. Oh. And so it was a world without a Superman. Oh, so Again. obviously it leads to Skynet. Right. Well, that's why Skynet doesn't immediately get defeated because, you know, no. Superman wasn't there. So uh, Superman and Steel do recon. They take a look at, like, the future, and it's horrible. Yep. You know, it's what you expect. Uh, they check out the Daily Planet because Superman refuses to believe that he's not going to make it. <laughs> like, I'll be fine. Right. I'm Superman. And they get to the Daily Planet, it's wrecked. And he's like, oh, I would never have let this happen. I can't believe it. That must be why I'm like, yeah, that's the thing that wakes me up. Thanks a lot, Steel. And they get attacked by like a roving band of cannibals. Uh, like that. What? In like 30 years of war and, you know, extinction from machines, some s pockets of humanity, like, like they become like Krog Magnum people. Well... <laughs> They just have beards. I mean, like they look, they're human but beings. they're hunched over, and they have giant like protrusions over their backs. Like and they, they don't speak. Yeah, and they, yeah, and they don't talk. Yeah. But well, that's just what happens to the people who like look like that. Fair enough. Well, then no, they that's all just, just banded like, together. You're gross looking. You can't be part of the resistance. <laughs> you're exiled. Okay. Well, I guess I'll become like a cannibal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Look at those idiots, uh, the trash people in Walking Dead, and how they talk. <laughs> yeah. That's inexcusable too. <laughs> No, when you become separate from society, you just you your regress. language just just falls apart. Fair enough. So <laughs> they they reveal to Superman like there's pockets of humanity that are cannibals, and Superman's like, "This is horrible. Like, that sucks. The Dark Horse universe sucks. This is yeah." Horrible. And uh, and Steel is like, "The reason why I brought you out here is not just to wake you up to the fact that this is the reality, but also to bring you to my apartment because I squirreled away a Superman costume on the off chance you ever came back. So here you go. Now you don't have to dress like the American flag. You can dress like a version of the American flag. Right. Also, it's yellow. You're more you like can, a you reference. You just wear clothes like freaking fatigues. Nah, Superman. So <laughs> how will we know who he is? Yeah. yeah. So presumably Sarah called Lois because Sarah and John are like at lunch with Lois uh, in Metropolis, and they're okay. like explaining to Lois." The premise of the book. Yeah. As they're doing that, a Terminator dressed like a cop appears and attacks them. And then, like, Lois shoots it with a fire hose, which delays it for a while. But then Supergirl shows up and, you, and, and, and destroys it. Okay. And you're like, huzzah, Supergirl's in the book. All now. right. Cool. Uh, this is a me very ineffective Terminator. They're all ineffective if they're Supermen. I mean, like, they're robots. It gets defeated by a fire hose. Well, it, it has no, them no, no, dead no. to rights no, it's, in a restaurant. No, it's just yeah, slowed and it's down. delayed. Yeah. Long enough. In true Terminator fashion, they just kind of slow it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's it's the really the the real coup d'etat is Supergirl. It's Supergirl, yeah, she saves the day. So, uh, meanwhile, Cyborg Superman is waiting in his lair for a female representative of Skynet, a new form of Terminator <laughs> called the Terminatrix. God. What? She Damn is it. dressed like a dog. In this book, they call it. Yeah. No. Yes. The Terminator. Wow. The, pre the premium villain what? from T3, Rise of the Machines, was invented in this book <laughs> like five years earlier, three years earlier, three, four years earlier than when it came out in movies. Does so she have lot. liquid metal skin? Yes. Wow. And, well, no. What? There's no sequence where, like, her boobs get bigger, so she tries to convince somebody to, like, leave her alone. But that's, so, that's, that's amazing. So Cyborg Superman downloads her information 
into his system or whatever. So he like learns more about like her stuff. And she learns. I must download her. the information by making out with right, you. Right. It, yeah. It's like a. Through your mouth port. It's practically a sex scene <laughs> if it was done from Demolition Man. Because the two of them stand in front of each other. They uh -huh. both hook up to machines. They find out more about each other. And then they're both like, cool. And then they smoke afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> so then they both jump on rad motorcycles and then go to work to kill Superman or, or John or whatever. Superman's sure. in the future. So. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. That's what's going to happen. Yeah. So Superman and Steel and the Human Resistance are destroying Skynet. Yeah. Because it's Superman. He's yeah. like, this is great. Brr. Yep. <laughs> Smash. And they're like, oh, wow. That's, that's a lot way easier. easier. <laughs> so they're having a great time. I'm amazed that none of the other superheroes made it. I was just, just going to say. Nope, they all died. What happened to all the other superheroes? You know, superheroes? like Supergirl. Died. Who's as strong, stronger than Superman. No, no, no. This is, this is, oh, that's right. It's Putty Supergirl. Matrix Supergirl. Uh, not nearly as strong. Yeah. What about Superboy? He's really strong. Yeah, but he's also has a, he, he has a, a weakness to fire. Uh, Where's, I feel like the nuclear fire might have really messed him up. Yeah. Where's Batman in his bat tank? <laughs> yeah, no Batman. No secret cameo from Batman, by the way. Ugh, what a waste. Yeah. I don't think we've ever seen Batman versus Terminator either. We've seen Batman versus Predator. We've seen Batman versus Alien. We've seen Superman versus Predator. And Superman versus Alien. And Superman and Batman versus Aliens and Predators. <laughs> but we've never seen Batman versus Terminator. Which I think is a damn crime. That is, uh, yeah. Get on it. Uh, DC Dark Horse and, and Dark DC. Horse. Come on. Come on. Sleep so, on the wheel. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> Superman and Steel are just having a grand old time. Maybe they could give that to Tom King. Oh, that'd be great. He would be really well suited for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's you got... Can't, you can't write the main book anymore, but, but here you go. Here, do, see, do, do Batman versus Terminator. Yeah, because he's got a lot of free time now. Yeah, because, you know, it, it could give Batman, like, more PTSD. His, right, yeah. His, his, it yeah. could counter with... Then he can wake up and have visions of the future being destroyed by a nuclear holocaust. Yeah, it's just war and death. Yep. Yeah. So, Supergirl is then explained by Lois and... Uh, Sarah? Sarah, the plot. Right, they... Uh, they actually show that? I'm sorry. Yes. Them, Does like, Sarah Connor do anything in this book other than explain the plot? <laughs> she if not, she's done it three times. Garbage. Well, no, no, no. In an earlier story, like, uh, in an earlier chapter of this story, like, she assists Superman in fighting the robots. She clearly didn't have to, but she does. Like, she operates a crane and hits the robot into Superman's path right, so he can so destroy it. Like, she's helping. She's being proactive. Yeah. But, but it's just uh, not a major part of the plot. No. John's missing now. They're like, where's John? And then all of a sudden, another Terminator shows up, shoots Superman. They Girl. called him and he won his bike? <laughs> That's where he went. <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's a Terminator who's pretending to be the guy who runs the contest. Oh, my God, yeah. It's not that. <laughs> so then uh, Supergirl's attacked by another robot yeah. and uh, it's shooting laser vision at her. Yeah. Uh, and then she sprouts fire wings and then picks him up from a high place and drops it is destroyed. Now, I don't remember Matrix Supergirl having fire wings, but they happen <laughs> so nonchalantly, I have to assume yeah, you know. that at some point between the death and return and yeah. Terminator fight, she got fire she got wings. That. Yeah. So like, oh, what's what's going on with Supergirl? She's got the fire wings. Let's put it that. Let's or put that somehow in the Alan Grant is confusing Supergirl and the Phoenix. Maybe. <laughs> Or he's like, well, she's like putty, so like she can, she make, can anything. make anything. But like, those are fire. <laughs> That's not mass. <laughs> no, it's not really fire. It's like a plasma that looks like fire. No, that, that you know what? That's a good. That's a good point. <laughs> Superman and Steel in the future, they break into the heart of Skynet and they meet Sky One, the embodiment of all of Skynet, in the form of like a cool robot that looks just like the robot from the movie Virus, and uh, and it's like ah. Like, good, you're here. I've been waiting for you. Yeah, of course. And so, uh... He... I have a kryptonite heart. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, no, it does. Something has to have kryptonite. <laughs> yeah. He's like, you, you're, like, the, the records say that, Superman, you never returned to the past, so this is your death. And Ugh. Superman's like, no, it's not. I'm gonna kick your ass, and I'll destroy everything. I'm Superman. I can break all the robots. It's not, like, you're, you, this is so stupid. Right. You can't and then me. he's like, I'll just break all the robots. And he's like, you can't destroy me because I have kryptonite. And he kryptonite shoots laser. Superman with, like, yeah. with kryptonite. I didn't realize kryptonite was so abundant. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, here's the thing. Well, it, came it on was, the... right? And it's just a rock. So it's just sitting there. And when humanity was wiped out, you know, it probably has resistance to, like, nuclear attack. So it's just sitting there, waiting. Yeah. Skynet finds it, recovers it, incorporates it into their system. Now, it would be better 
if like they wanted to make this a true Superman versus Terminator story, and it's like, no, we harnessed Metallo and we made oh. him into a Terminator because he's a friggin' robot. That's part of Superman's history, but Metallo makes no appearance in this story. Yeah. So Sky One assimilates Superman and Steel. Assimilates them? Yeah, plugs them into all their bunch of robot bullshit. Well, Superman doesn't have a port. He's no. a man. Yes, but he's got like <laughs> neural probes that like attach to his oh. face. And uh, so, like, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use your information. That looks a lot like a, uh, an, alien an alien head. head. An alien head. Agreed. Now, it could be a little, like, wink and a nod, but yeah. we've already had Superman vs. Alien, so, like, you know, there's no need to be subtle. Yeah. yeah. What the crap? Weird. You know what that, uh, what that kryptonite laser that he shoots him with reminds me of? Yeah. In uh, Lois and Clark, The, the New Adventures of Superman, Superman, there was an episode where somebody gets a hold of, like, a gun that's powered by kryptonite. Right. And... Superman's like, what are you going to do with that? It's a gun. Like, guns can't hurt me. <laughs> he's like, blam, shoots it with this green laser thing. He's like, oh, no. Yeah. Why would you assume, assume that that high-tech looking thing the gun? can't Not hurt you? Why they, don't you just destroy it before they get a chance to use you've it? You've got laser vision. It's faster also, than light. Yeah. What if it's a magic gun? Yeah. Right. What if it, you, you, there are many things that have hurt you before on this show. Uh, just on Why the show. Why take the chance? I know. In the comics, he's shot by a kryptonite bullet. Like, right. he should like absolutely that just be, makes sense. That's just not that hard to do. Yeah. I just formed a bullet out of kryptonite and then shot you with it. There. Yeah. yeah. You've never tried to dodge bullets ever, so I know it'll work. I agree. <laughs> I'm going to put a gun against your head. Oh, you can't. I'm Superman. Blam. 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 Your brains. <laughs> it's over. Oh. Oh. Kryptonite. Right. The one thing. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> anyway, uh... Superman's down for the count because of the kryptonite. Yeah. But Steel's kind of awake and he's like, oh, I've got to figure this out. i gotta, I got to save Superman. So Cyborg Superman sent the information to the future through, through the, the skull. So they know now oh. how to fight Superman. Right, right, right. Yeah. Each Terminator they send back is more anti-Superman than ever before. Yeah, but they have access to time travel. So wouldn't the original ones they sent back have <laughs> been that? Or wouldn't they have sent them back like far in the past? Yeah, like, but why like... Why did they only send them to like... Well, okay. Even, so they we did already send them sent... into the past to Krypton. Yeah. <laughs> why do you think it blew up? Yeah, the Terminators destroyed Krypton. Or wouldn't it be a great crossover to have the Terminators go back to Kansas and like whatever the yeah, hell Superman gets... Yeah, but it's like, like, no, no, we can't do that. Like, we already sent back some weaker ones. If <laughs> we have to send back the stronger ones like to right after yes. the weaker ones so that's chronological. That's so exactly that someone's what, reading it like it's all happening in order. That's literally what they do in the story. They don't explain <laughs> it that way, but that's exactly what happens. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so Supergirl's I will say, like, if they sent a Terminator back <laughs> to kill baby Superman, yeah. I'm like, no, that's just Terminator. Yes. You're tor doing Terminator yeah. again with Superman. Yeah, but the Sarah Connor characters would be John and Martha Kent. I don't want That'd that. Be fun. Yeah. They're not badass. They, but no, didn't you know they actually were badass? Yeah. Well, Pa Kent was in the army or yeah. whatever. He fought in Korea. Yeah. Like I could, I could shoot Koreans and I could shoot robots, robots too. Just one robot. That's all you need. Just one. Anyway, so these... I shot like fifty Koreans. Yeah. I... So Supergirl's fighting these Terminators and they're stronger than she thought. But then Superboy shows up. Uh huh. And so the two of them make quick work of them. Yep. Where so was now... he? Before now? He was busy. He's, he's got oh. his own book. He's in his own city. Yeah, yeah. You know. Oh, he's in a different city. Okay. Yeah. But so. I, 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 although he might be called the Metropolis Kid by this point, so he's probably in Metropolis. He just missed it. Yeah. Either way. It's like, well, I could hear what was happening. It sounded like you had it under control. I and just then didn't it sounded care. like you didn't. Right. So then I came down. So they defeated the, the, the Terminators, but then four more Terminators get sent oh, back in time yeah. right after they were this, defeated that are even stronger than those before that. This like is It's like in the future they're watching it happen. <laughs> I know. They're like, send the next one. <laughs> It's like, you know we could watch any time, right? We could jump right to the end of the fight yeah. and see that they lose and send them back to, like, the same time. Yeah. And just keep adding Terminators at the uh -huh. same time until they win. I know. <laughs> so, uh, meanwhile, Terminatrix and Cyborg Superman are watching this happen. Mm -hmm. And Cyborg Superman's like, I could destroy them myself. And she's like, patience, my friend. So, like, also, why? like, you've been trying what do you mean, patience? for this whole time. You've been trying since you've been villain. created. You're, like, his In this arch nemesis. Book. Yeah. You've so far failed. Why do you think now that you could destroy them? Mm -hmm. So uh, <laughs> Steel, in the future, enacts a sequence in his suit that's like a magnet that calls his cool hammer to him. Mm. And he uses it to break the machines and free the control that Sky One has on Superman. Yeah, yeah. But then Sky One just shoots them with the kryptonite laser. Right. And Steel jumps in the way. And cool. So Superman uses his heat vision to break the laser and then... Steel smashes it, and then like, so then Sky One is like, that, uh, poppycock, 
I could defeat you even without my greatest weapon that was easily defeating you before. And so, uh, but it doesn't, right? No, no. So it's arrogant for no reason. But meanwhile, uh, Sarah and Lois are trying to find John, and then John calls the phone number for Lois. That's why we call Lois in the first place, because John needs to be separated from them so that he can call Lois and they can be there. So John calls Lois on a payphone in a construction site because he was like running away to, from the Terminators, and they got separated earlier, and that's why they were separated. Okay. So uh, they're there at the so so John's there at the construction site, but of course, you know, Terminatrix and Cyborg Sigmund watching, so mm -hmm. they show up to try and kill John. So John has to fight the Terminatrix and Cyborg Superman. Uh, right. What? John <laughs> Connor is going to fight them and survive. And listen, like, I wouldn't be able to give it to T2's John Connor, who actually knows how to fight and knows things about technology. Yeah. yeah. This John Connor This is John Connor dumbass. sucks. <laughs> so there's no chance. Meanwhile, no, oh, haven't you seen them. Home Alone yeah. or Home Alone 2? Yeah, he throws some marbles hits, hits or some ball bearings. Cans. Yeah. Uh, so, anyway, uh, Supergirl grabs one of the husks of a Terminator that she recently defeated and throws it over to LexCorp and shows it to Lex Luthor. Hmm. The Lex Luthor, the, the second clone body son thing? <laughs> eh, forget all that. Also, the sexual relationship that she had with that Lex, yeah. that's over. Now she's a superhero, he's a supervillain, and they don't like each other anymore. Right. So Which is going right back. So to, forget all that stuff that yeah. we've been building up for the last couple of years of yeah. Superman stories we've done on this channel, where we talk about Matrix Supergirl having a sexual relationship with secret Lo Lex Luthor. So she's basically like, listen, you know a lot about robots and technology and stuff. Here's untold future technology. Use it to find out how to defeat these robots, because they keep showing up and, and kicking our ass. I don't know if Lex like Luthor's you, your best choice. You've destroyed many of them already. I agree. To both With those brute parts. force. <laughs> so then uh, Lex takes the CPU and analyzes it to try and help them. Sure. Under some duress. You know, he's like, why would I help you? And like, because humanity is doomed. So then... Also, this technology will help you. Yes. Like, build, like defeat your competitors or whatever. Probably. So then another Shouldn't one comes back from the future looking like, like Lex. Lex. It's like, good job, Lex. Kill. <laughs> no. Superman and the Resistance build like an EMP bomb. And they've never been able to get close enough to actually use it effectively, but Superman can fly and stuff. So he just flies over to like where Sky 1 and Skynet and all the, like the central hub uh -huh. of Skynet is. And he throws it and it goes off and it destroys Skynet and Superman saves the day. Literally, Superman like saves the, hum the human race. And then he and the rest of the resistance like destroy what's left of the like dregs of the of the Terminators. Yeah. And then they win. And like so, Superman and John Connor and Steel and the Human Resistance win Terminator in the future. In the future. Is Steel supposed to look like Thor? I mean, like here's the thing. Because his suit, he's very that much last Thor. Panel, looks exactly like Thor. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like he does. And he's got the hammer, Steel, which he can call to himself. What's funny is Steel always had the hammer. He always had the cape. Yeah. Mm. Um, it's just that he never had a beard. Yeah. Well, also he's got like a he's got plates like metal plates. That's true. Well, I mean, I, isn't that more uh, ultimate Thor? Yeah. I mean, mm. the, Thor does have the, the the big discs. Yeah. Like all over his body. So I don't know. Like it depends on which version, but like they both have those discs. So yeah. it's a fair assumption. Ultimate Thor did not have the cape though. Mm. Uh, but the fact that Steel has like a built-in thing in his suit to recall the hammer. Yeah. That's where it gets suspicious. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So then, like, they win, and they, like, they, they spread the message on how to take those sons of bitches down. Oh, my God. What? So the whole world defeats Skynet. Wait a minute. How is there another book left? Oh, because <laughs> well, they, 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 they wrap won up, in the future. We've got to wrap up the, pa the, the current time. If they've won in the future, that means that all they have to do is win in the past. Just keep beating up a couple robots, and you're done. I know. Well, that's going to be tough, because the Terminatrix be is back there. Yeah. So they're like, okay, well, we're going to send you back, Superman, and you're going to have to stop them. So then... Superman goes back in time. They leave the the future, and now the whole and book. Steals like place. send me back too, because <laughs> so. I hate it here. No, he he stays. He does like say like maybe you can come with me, and he's like nah. So was it that they had to defeat Skynet before they could send Superman back? Because the plan should have been like, well, we got to send Superman back so we can stop all this from happening. They're like that, but Superman's like, I'll stick around and save the day for you. Yeah, but we're not even going to exist anymore if you go back and accomplish. Right, but like, why not win the day? Why not see one time when we win? I don't All right. know. Well, I get the idea that, like, well, I'm already in the future, so I might as well help you win here because you can just send me back like I never left. Right. Yeah. Exactly. 
But they don't. They send him, like, after all this shit. Yeah. Well, yeah, of course. No, it's true. Because it's all happening chronologically. Yeah, it would be actually great if they sent him happen. back in time and then just made the book not happen. Yeah. Because then it would actually make... Then it could have actually t taken place in continuity. Right. So, uh, you know, Lex is testing out his, like, new Terminators and stuff, and he's learning stuff. Superman shows up. Uh, he's naked. He runs back. We do that literally between two panels. He arrives yep. in shadow... A quick costume change, and seconds later, he is back in a Superman costume. Yep. He joins Superboy and Supergirl, and they break some Terminators together. He so much can't be naked that he can't allows be... for his friends to have to fight without him for a little bit longer. Yes. Just so he doesn't fight naked. Right. They could have been killed in that time. Yeah, but, but it's <laughs> inappropriate. Like, can you imagine the headlines? Oh my god, yeah. Superman saves city with his wang out! <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Lewis, you wrote this article about me! It was a scoop. Hello, I'm Pulitzer. I'm a reporter. I gotta, I gotta report the facts. Yeah. I can't give you special treatment. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, anyway, John, like, home alone, and he throws some, like, some, like, cement, which, like, sticks them, you know, the TX and the, and the, and the oh Cyborg Superman. God. And they're, like, they're it's just... It's cement and they're robots. Yeah, Come on. They're, they're, they're momentarily, d they're just slowed down a little bit. All right. All right. But uh, TX <laughs> can smell him, so she tracks him down, shoots the pipe he's hiding in. And then Superman just shows up, grabs John, and then, like, gets him out of the way. Yep. And then, like, Terminatrix transforms her arm yep. into a future cannon, just like she does in the future movie. Jeez. But Superman just grabs the arm, breaks it off, and punches her in the head. Yeah. Unlike the movie. <laughs> right, she doesn't even get to fire it. And then, like, Hank Henshaw is like, No! I'll just beat you myself! And Superman's like, You never do! And he just, like, beats the shit out of him. Yep. Uh, and then, uh, Hank, who can uh, absorb, you know, he can, because he can't die, because he, like, can be in any technology and stuff. Yeah. And it's like, it's like living machinery, so he can, like, absorb himself into, like, a toaster or whatever. He grabs the TX and then fuses with her and becomes a kind of, like, hybrid Terminator monster. Meanwhile, Lex Luthor invented a Terminator defeating gun. It's like shoot the gun at the robots and they just turn off. So oh. he does. Supergirl takes the gun and uses it with the rest of the Terminators that are that are that are bothering them. Okay. okay. The the TX Cyborg Slash. Superman hybrid, hybrid thing yeah. is like fighting Superman. It's gonna like mess him up. But then, yeah. uh, and he's going to get supported by more Terminators that were sent back. Right. Uh, don't worry. There was like a Hail Mary pass from, the, from Skynet. Sent like, I don't know, how, however many Terminators they needed to go back. Uh, to yeah. this point, even though we don't know this happened. Yeah. Yeah, well, it looks like. Unlike, uh, there's well, like, I don't know, nine, eight, eight or nine, yeah. maybe a dozen. Uh, <laughs> but Supergirl and Superboy just, just shoot them with shoot their them guns. With, the gun, so with their continuity guns and they go away. And uh, so, you know, Superman punches the, the hybrid. The hybrid becomes a more easy to destroy larger machine uh supergirl shoots it with her gun but it doesn't quite work because like it's so powerful and it's also cemented with with cyborg superman it's so powerful yeah but it does start to kill the terminator half of him okay so then he expunges the terminator portion that way he's not like always going to be a terminator in the rest right. of the book right, right. Uh, and he says like you know I'll win next time, and he flies away. I'll get you, gadget. <laughs> yep. So then all of the super people grab all of the Terminator husks that are left, fuse them into a molten ball, and then Superman throws it into the sun. Into the sun. Hooray! Like Finally something goes into the problems. sun. Yes. Or at least that's the, what he should do with every problem. Yeah. So then he flies hey, back. Hey, Cyborg Superman, I'm going to throw you in yeah. there as He well. really should have, but Cyborg Superman flew away. He was defeated. Yeah. So Superman goes to, to John and... Sarah, and he's like, I won. In the future and the past, you never have to worry about Terminators ever again unless you leave Metropolis and go back to the Dark Horse books. <laughs> Meanwhile, Lex Luthor is reading the journal of a character who actually appears in a Dark Horse Terminator book called Terminator Death Valley and says that, like, he's going to be part of it. So, like, Lex kept a bunch of the Terminator information. Of course. And, in fact, has been collecting Terminator stuff for years. And so Lex is somehow integral to the rise of Skynet. Yeah. Yeah, obviously. And he thinks he's going to be able to control it one day. Obviously, he doesn't because we've been to the future and he's not even in there. Right. But We're not you know. going to listen to you. You don't even have hair. <laughs> no! I guess, I guess in this universe, the future that Superman wins might happen. 
Right. So I guess it's important Because of that, Lex Luthor. Yeah, so I guess it's important that Superman did win. Yes, because eventually them. they do win. Because he's not going to be able to stop that from happening, presumably. Yes. And I guess he also dies. Right, yeah. So I guess it never... Re- so like every Terminator story, there is no happy ending because yes. the Judgment end always, always has happens. to end with a dun-dun-dun to be continued. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And so. the nuclear holocaust has to hap- always has to happen. Always has to happen. It will always happen in every movie that's not Terminator 2. Yes. <laughs> that's right. So there you go. Uh, Superman vs. Terminator sucks. And it's stupid. <laughs> yeah. And it ultimately is pointless and doesn't make any sense. Well, at least it creates the Terminatrix. Yes. But it did inspire Great. them uh, uh, <laughs> to make T3. So, so there that's you have even it. worse. <laughs> so it's even worse than that. So actually, in true Terminator fashion, this book came from the past <laughs> and incepted the future. Yeah. So there you go. That's cool. You know what's funny? The third volume has a f- picture on the cover of Supergirl with the fire wings. Yeah. But that actually only happens in the second book. It doesn't yep. even happen in the third book. No. Well, didn't you see it once? Wasn't it cool? Right. Well, because the, hey, second, remember? the second issue huh? has the cover that shows that Cyborg Superman's involved. Right. Which you know, happened? You'll know all that already by issue three. That would be silly. I don't want to give anything away. So I'll just show you stuff that's already happened. Yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I think it's just that they're cool looking. Right. And the covers are arguably the best part of the book. <laughs> it's I mean, like, like, we never get that image on the first Yeah, we one. never get an image of Superman inundated with T-800 Terminator. Like, yep. swimming in them. Just like, yeah. I, I, they're overpowering. Right. It's really too bad that the covers are tiny so pictures smaller. within all this garbage. Like, well, just make this the whole cover. Right, make that no, the I cover. Can't. But no, we gotta, it has like... to be like a computer screen. We gotta frame yeah. it so that it's, you know, it's... It's, yeah, it's, it's gotta, gotta look screen. all See, digital look all and back, shit. how, like, the S is, like, digitized. Wouldn't it be cooler if it was the whole thing and then you overlaid it with, like, technology? Some technology? Yeah. Like the Terminator sees? <laughs> They're like pixels. Look at how high def this is. <laughs> so it's, it's like they made every wrong decision. <laughs> To yeah. make this crossover. Uh, did you even see Terminator? <laughs> this this may be the reason why there is no Batman versus Terminator. <laughs> they were like, they oh, made no, it like, oh, this sucks. That's enough of the Terminator crossovers. Yeah. They never why don't were. we do another crossover with Predator instead? Yeah. Why don't we do three Batman versus Predators and one Superman <laughs> and Batman versus Predator? Well, how, about, how about this? We'll do JLA versus Predators, which, is, which may be worse. Yeah. JLA versus Predators is so horrible. So horrible. Uh, I mean, like, listen. How come we can't get, like, a Aquaman versus the Predator or something? Hey, right? Well, because that wouldn't sell. Like, straight up. What you the know? crap? Superman, Batman, fine. Right. But, like, I mean, Dark Horse is like, we're trying to sell units here. Yeah. You know, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not just, we're not just doing this for fun. Look, that's why we got Superman in here. For fun. Yeah. We're using flagship characters to sell our flagship characters. Yeah. Just so happens that our flagship characters are totally incongruous with yours. It also doesn't really work out that uh, we already defeated all of our characters <laughs> in the movies. So uh, how do we make more stories about them? Oh, yeah. Well, no. It didn't happen. <sighs> so. Superman vs. Terminator. If it's collected, I'll put it in the description. It probably should be. I think there's a couple of Dark Horse DC volumes. I'd be amazed if it wasn't, it in. Mm. but it would also be fitting if it wasn't. Like, we didn't collect no. this. Yeah. No. But the covers are pretty fun. I know you even only the first cover is the best. Yeah. So there you go. But it, it's, it's a perfect sequel to Terminator because it sucks. <laughs> like every Terminator sequel after this first one. Yeah. So, you know. <laughs> I will say... Uh, Based on the second cover, I thought they were going to get a copy of Superman. Oh. Oh, and make a and Superman, make a Superman, Superman Cyborg Terminator. Superman. That would been cool. Never forget Rather about than Cyborg use Superman. Cyborg they already Superman. have one. Yeah, but like, yeah. we don't bring him into the future. No. No. And they could have. It would have been amazing if Cyborg Superman's like, how can I talk to them? I know. And just turns off and waits 30 years. <laughs> I'll leave a message for them. <laughs> Wait. Wake up in 35 years. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like, what? Because they could have done that they and have him, and then have him jump into the time machine after Superman. Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. That would have been much better. That would have been much better than bringing a TX back and having them, like, demolition man fuck. Yeah, but they got that cool scene of him taking a skull and sticking it in, like, a death statue. Yeah. 
That great. was cool. I mean, like, <laughs> look, that I'm a sorry. Cool image, Didn't I that guess. Look cool? If there is a robot skull inside of some Someone's weird statue notice. at yeah. a cemetery, it's gonna you're gonna notice. Yeah. I Someone's mean, like, gonna vandalize the steel. Is there like some weird editor that was like, I've always wanted to see like a robot skull in a death statue in a graveyard. So you've got to make sure that is in the book. Like, you know, like, <laughs> like yep. telling Kevin Smith he's got to have a polar bear fight, like fucking super, you know, Brainiac in the third act or whatever. Yeah. Like, uh, sure. there are so many places you could put it. Why that? I don't know. Where would you like, that it, is then? a very specific it's, thing. Th- there's, listen, this book might as well be called Super vs. Terminator Missed Opportunities. Uh, which is like, yeah, because... In, 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 they throw away the premise immediately. Terminators. Superman's like, crunch. What's next? Yeah. Oh. Well, this oh, is I guess be we'll a steal book. Superman and get him out. Right? Like, it would be great, actually, if they were like, Superman crushes the Terminator. And he's like, what up? And then we just watch John grow up and, like, get married and, like, be happy. <laughs> just a, and then a Terminator show up and he's like, what? <laughs> but That's I thought we defeated cool. you. No, it turns out uh, Hank Henshaw... You know, uh, just l- turn himself to sleep and well, then woke up in the future. Yeah, and then he... So it's not even Terminators. It's like, it's Hank Henshaw's or something. And they just yeah. have to look like him. Because that's what he looks like. Right? He looks like a Terminator. That's it's not just a, It's just a robot skeleton. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. All better. Yeah. All better ideas than what was executed. And, like, John is just a smiling goofball in this. Oh, he serves no fucking purpose. No, he except doesn't. Except to be a thing at the end that they have to say. And neither does yep. Sarah. No. No, she's totally useless. That's, that's the part that sucks about yeah, this the most. It's just a Superman Sarah book. Hey, it's a Superman and book. And there's Terminator stuff happening in the background. Yeah, well, that's probably why most people don't use them. Like, don't use Sarah and John. Yeah. <sighs> because also you know they're going to make it at the end. Yes. Yeah. Hey, no. I know John's Superman's already alive. Make it too. Sarah doesn't have to make it. No, that's true. That's true, yeah. Yeah, you could kill Sarah Connor in the Superman versus Terminator crossover. That's right. Crossover. It doesn't matter anyway. No way. That being said, there is a Terminator RoboCop crossover. Yeah. Another one that what? really sucks. And it's not in the same continuity. As the first one? As the first one. They just redid it? They just did it again. Oh, my God. Let's just tell a different story. And that one is war. Wow. Because <laughs> at least Frank Miller and Walt Simons are like, oh! What is the justification for that? Because people are like, clamoring for more RoboCop stuff? People like RoboCop. I mean, I guess depending on what year it was. I don't know when it was It was, was like written. five years ago. That doesn't make any goddamn sense. No. It wasn't tying in with that awful movie reboot. It was just it was just another chance hey, to do it again. remember RoboCop? He's back. He's in back. Terminator form. <laughs> so Superman vs. Terminator is, you know, whatever. I'll put it in the description, but we know you're not going to click it. We'll see you guys next time. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So long, and thanks for watching. So, so I'm looking forward to that Terminator sequel. Boy, if this is any indication, oh. that Terminator 6 is going to be friggin' fantastic. Did you see the trailer yet? I did, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Why is Arnold old and in it? Well, also, you just did the old Arnold in the worst one, arguably. Oh, I didn't even see that shit. They did it again. They're just like, Arnold's old again. Anyway, did we end it?